Hi everyone, I'm Muskan. I work as Mobile Product Manager at Frex. In this video, we will be sharing with you all our new work order execution features and how you can take the advantage of these features. So let's get started. In my app, I signed in as a technician. Let's go to more. So I signed in as Bob. I have the access of different sites, but right now I'll select Nevada site. I'll go to my work orders tab. Under my work orders, I can see my open work order list. And under work orders, you'll also see two different tabs, which is my work orders and my request tab. Under my work orders, I'll see all my open work orders. Under my request, I'll see my work orders with the requested status. So let's talk about work orders tab. Under my work orders tab, I have four different filters, which is overdue, started, to do, and done. Under my overdue filter, all my work orders whose due date has been passed come under overdue filter. Under my started filter, all my work orders which are in progress come under this filter. Under my to-do filter, all my work orders on which the technicians has not yet started working on will come under this filter. And then comes my done filter. So a work order whose tasks have been completed will come under this filter. In addition to that, the colors of these four filters are in four different types, which is red, blue, gray, and green. Also, on our work order list, we can see the order of our work order is based on the due date and the priority. And if you'll see this tile, the tile of this work order consists of the due date, the description of a work order, the asset associated in this work order, the time left to complete this task, the asset image, the work order ID, and the priority. On the right hand side, you will see the assignee icon. So the assignee icon is of three different types. If this work order is assigned to an individual, then the initial of that individual will be, will be visible. If a work order is assigned to a group, then a group icon will be visible. If a work order is assigned to a group plus an individual, then we have a different type of icon where one person will be filled. Now let's go and select our and see our search functionality. On the top, you'll see the search icon and you can search any work order. Let's search for a work order. Let's say 190 and my work order will be filtered. Let me select this work order. As soon as we select this work order, we'll go inside the work order details. We'll see four different tabs, which is details, task, parts, and files. On our work order details tab, we will see the details of our work order. Over here, you can see my status, my due date, the time left, description, priority, maintenance type, and the assignee of this work order. In addition to this, I can also see a button where I can add my work order notes and the list of assets and the tasks associated with them. Now, on my task tab, I can see the tasks which are associated with my work with my asset in this work order. In this asset, I don't have any task, so let me switch my asset. So over here, when I switched my asset, I see two different tasks. One is my general task and the other one is my inspection task. Let's complete one of the inspection tasks. Let me mark it as passed and I spent two hours. It's done. And I save it. On my path tab, I don't have any part, but I can always add a new part to it. Tap on add part button, I can tap on this. I can see the location and asset. I'll add, say, let's say pump two, the quantity. I want two parts of this, save. And my part will be added. On my files tab, if in case a technician is working on the work and they want some manual to be uploaded. So what we can do, 
we can simply tap on add photo button we can upload an image and add it now let's go on the task tab on the task tab you must have seen there is a link which says view asset details if you'll go and click on this user will be navigated on the asset tab where he or she can see four different tabs which is details work orders readings and files tab on our work orders tab we have a different option which is show closed work orders toggle as soon as user taps on this toggle we have now three three filters which is all closed and open if i click on closed filter i can see the history of my asset and the work orders which were associated with this asset and they were closed so now let's go back to our work order so right now i filtered 190 work order and it's visible under my open list now i want to close this work order to complete it i marked it at yes i'll go back to my work order list and i'll see the difference that my open work order is now visible under separate section which is a close section and this work order will now be visible only for 24 hours as i'm sure you have seen from this demo we have added a lot of exciting new features to our mobile app including the ability to view work order histories while you are online watch our next mobile demo to learn about creating work orders and viewing work requests.